is dark? It's a dark chocolate Snickers, okay? Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Wait until Halloween to get your mini soup size at the Halloween Bash or the 99 cent stop. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Brie here at Eatsy Magic. And we are here at Pimp's Kitchen, you guys. I didn't get to make it the first time around for that vlog, but we're back, so I'm super excited to try the food. So let's go. Okay, so I love they have another message here, but I'm showing you guys the food here. We're obviously probably gonna get the pamimi, then that's the little chicken, the pretzel. Um, ooh, maybe the proton punch? What? Okay, you guys, it looks really good though, so let's get in here. Hi! Oh my gosh, thank you, yes. <gasps> you guys, we are small people in here. Okay, okay, they have the pretzel. You already know it goes in small over there and it comes out large, okay? I'm here for it, I'm here for it. Look at the wall, you guys. Oh my gosh. So we placed our order, but I'm just showing you over here, you guys, how dope this is. And then this is the specialty soda. I think I ordered one of these, so I'm getting one of those. And then you have the mix up, which is like, Kind of weird because nobody's wiping it down, but it's fine. It's fine. The world is opening. Y'all, I really love everything about this. The details, everything. They are putting in work. Okay. We. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We. We got more. We got more. All right, you guys. We got the last two things. The PBJ punch and this big old pretzel. Let's get into it. So we're going to get this because I've never had it before. Um, ooh. So refreshing lemon lime with the vanilla kick, you guys. Let's try this one. All right, you guys, I don't know where to begin. So let's just start with what's in front of me. And it's this drink right here. So this is like the peanut butter and jelly drink. It's called Proton PB&J uh, Punch, okay? So it's $6.49 and it's um, I think Minute Maid lemonade with some strawberry flavors. And this top whipped cream that's already melting, that's why we're trying it first. It's supposed to have a peanut butter flavor. I see this little pieces of something in there. I wonder if that's probably peanut butter. Let's try it. <laughs> okay. I don't know about this. Um, it's it's too sweet and I'm not getting that this part is the part with the peanut butter. Something in here tastes like it has peanut butter. Um, I actually, it's really sweet you guys. <laughs> and y'all know me, I love my tropical, I love my fruit, I love my sweet. This is kind of sweet so I don't know about this one. Um, but let's get into some food. So next I'm just going to slide it into the picture. Okay, it didn't really, alright it's here, it's here. Ooh, the pretzel, you guys. So this is $12.99. Um, and you know what? There was some conflicting information about if you get a legacy pass holder or whatever. I found out that you do. So if somebody tells you you don't, you'd be like, well, three got hers? Um, it comes with two sauces. One of them is a chocolate. Oh, okay, hold on. Okay, 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 okay. It's a lot going on. One of them is a cheese sauce. One of them is a mustard. I already said this is worth it because it's really big. Okay? Hi, how are you? How's it going? It's really big, okay? So, let's try it in the cheese sauce. Mm. It's a good, it's a good cheese sauce. <laughs> Someone has seasoned the cheese sauce, okay? Mustard should just be basic. I think it's a good pretzel, friends. Um, it's simple, but it's big. And for 12 something, it will fill you up. It's kind of like a good snack. I will come back here and definitely get this pretzel, okay? I'm already dipping it back in the cheese sauce. All right, let's try the next dish. So next we're gonna try, let's do the pamimi set. I'm sorry, the pretzel is still here. It's it's a really good pretzel. Um, but the pamimi sandwich for you guys, or pimnini, whatever. Um, it comes with, this looks like arugula to me. As a side, marinara sauce. It's 14 dollars for this portion, which is kind of a lot for this portion. Um, it's like a really skinny slice. But this is the one where you can get um, 
for hundred dollars it feeds like six to eight people so let's try it you see all the little uh, pepperonis and all that um and it has a rosemary ham it's all the toasted focaccia it has some dried tomatoes it has provolone um salami okay and woo, that's what it looks like so let's see if it's any good Sandwich. This is really good. Ooh. It's really good. You don't even need the marinara dipping sauce. I'm going to do it anyway because it's there. Yeah, you don't even need the marinara. This is a really good sandwich, especially if you're a sandwich person. You like the good old classic Italian sandwiches. Like, ooh. I like it. So I would definitely come back for this. And if I'm with a bunch of people, I would probably get the $100 one. We we'll just get a bigger portion. <laughs> you guys, stop playing with me. Stop. <laughs> good. Okay, so now let's try the next dish. I forgot to tell you guys, this is also good. It just tastes like a plain arugula salad, but I love arugula. So it's fine. But this is the star. Also, if you see, all of the little menus have this secret, my secret recipe on them. So it's just the details, y'all. It's really cool. So next we're gonna taste an impossible spoonful, which was 13, 13, 13 99 y'all. They just making up for the time that they were closed, okay? <laughs> um, but it's rigatoni in here. It's made with impossible meat. The little spoon on there, so cute. And y'all know, y'all know, I love my impossible meat, okay? I don't like beyond. Well, I don't care for it. Something is good. Impossible, I mess with. Okay, okay. Okay, so this is a flimsy fork. Easy to break. Don't do me like that when you give me this big old ball, okay? I'm gonna use the other fork because this is probably for decoration. But I'm going to... Oh, they have a little one on the side that fell, so I'm gonna try that to see what the meat tastes like. There's basil here. It's really good. Oh, the rigatoni is basic. There are also little, oh, it's one basic. There's like no flavor in the rigatoni. Um, you see they have little pieces like that and then they have big pieces. So it's cute. You know, you get, that's probably why they have the big meatball and the little big meatball. Um, I don't know if I could recommend this. Like I love the impossible meat, but I don't know if I would recommend this because the pasta, you get that one really tasty, ball that tastes just like me but the pasta is not flavorful at all it's very bland i'm good Ooh. sorry i saw thor dang i want to go over there um this might be a pass y'all love this part don't love the pasta okay let's try the next dish all right so you can't see what's in here but this is that specialty drink i was showing y'all that's for here and it's just like a lemon lime with vanilla Uh, stick to what you know. Uh, there's a lot of options in there. I don't know if you need this one, okay? Where did this go south? The pretzel was good, the panini was good. Well, this was, uh-uh. Too sweet, well, just too sweet. It does taste good, but it's too sweet. Okay, let's try this nacho chicken sandwich and hopefully that is the savior for this, okay? We are counting on you. We are counting on you to save the day and be delicious. Please deliver. Thank you. So I got, uh, I like how the pretzel is still hanging out and it's fine. I got the not so little chicken sandwich, okay? It comes with tater tots um, and it's, I think they said a, what kind of, oh, $15.49. <laughs> okay, um, I mean, it's a big piece of chicken, but for $15.49 for this, Give me a drink and give me a hug for Mickey, okay? This has fried chicken breast, teriyaki and red chili sausage, and pickled cabbage slaw, okay? So I don't know how to really pick it up and eat it. I probably should just cut it. I don't have a knife. I do have a knife, thanks mom. And let's see, let me just cut the chicken because it makes no sense. We know the brioche bun is a brioche bun, you know? Everybody in the country probably using the same brioche. And she gave me a fork. Thank you. I like it. I like the chicken. This is 
a fun dish you should get, right? Because you can't actually pick up the chicken sandwich from that little tiny bun. Maybe you could. Maybe I could attempt that. Okay? But I really like that this is good. Mm. Chicken is crispy. It reminds me of my favorite spot by my house. That we're doing that chicken katsu like that. I like it. Whatever that sauce is, I know they said red chili and teriyaki. I don't know if that's somewhere else. It don't taste, I don't, I don't taste teriyaki. To me, it tastes like a sriracha mayo. And it's really good. The sauce is okay. We don't love it, but we don't hate it. We're just irritated by it, okay? Um, and the tater tots are fine. So, this is good, you guys. I like this chicken sandwich. It's a fun treat, and I would get that here, okay? It redeemed itself, okay? We got some dishes we like, some dishes we didn't care for. I got one more thing to try. All right, y'all, so I have to be honest. Um, this is what I, one thing I regret buying, okay? Um, it's, I think it's only dessert here, and it's just because it's just a big chocolate bar, and there's someone in my family with an allergy of peanuts. They have peanuts in here. But this is the bar. Let's break it and see. So it looks like a big oversized Snickers. Am I right? You see the like nougat, this peanut. I think this is a really big, and you know what? This actually might be bomb in the freezer. Y'all know, y'all know about that. You put your Snickers in the freezer for a little bit, or in the refrigerator. Okay. Let me just take a small bite. It tastes like a dark chocolate Snickers. But yeah, there's caramel in here. You can see. Okay. I don't think you need this. I mean, if you're trying to take pictures from Instagram, fine, but I don't feel like you need this. I feel like it's a Snickers. And to me, it tastes like dark chocolate on the outside. It looks like milk. No, maybe it is. No, maybe it looks like dark. Right? This is dark. It's a dark chocolate Snickers. Okay, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Wait until Halloween to get your mini soup size at the Halloween Bash. Or the nine nine stuff. Okay, um, you guys, thank you so much for hanging with me on this vlog of Pam's Testing Kitchen. We basically tried the majority of things. We didn't try any of the alcoholic beverages. We didn't try the Caesar salad. We didn't try the kids' menu that they have. But um, for the most part, we enjoyed it. Will we be back? Yes. Um, I would come back for the pretzel. It's a really good pretzel. I would come back for that chicken sandwich. That chicken sandwich is really good. Um, and I would come back for the pimimi. Uh, the impossible. My vegetarian and vegan friends, y'all know I love you. You know I try everything, but I can't get with that pasta, okay? You just gonna have to know, because the, the meatball is really good. We finished the meatballs, like, that's actually delicious. But the pasta? And then you don't need this, uh, what, $15 Snicker? I don't even know, maybe it's only $5, I don't know. But, um, yeah, you got, oh, and you, bro, you trying to, trying to pass out? No. So, thank you guys so much for hanging with me on this vlog. Make sure you check out my other Adventures Campus vlogs. And I'll keep coming back to the parks. So if they have anything new, which I feel like they're going to develop this land even more. Or maybe we'll come and try the Caesar Salad. Maybe I'll just do one vlog of the Caesar Salad. Okay? Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!